So, I don't know if you heard us talking about this the other day. I just, just being honest with you for a second, I got some pretty bad news uh, about a week ago, and that is my, my mother, and this is true, my mother, stop laughing, this is true. You need to settle down. Yeah. Not to mention you're going talking to Talking about when you my hear this. mama. My mother was diagnosed with cancer about a week ago, and that's a horrible, horrible thing. We talked about it on the radio, and this is what I love about you guys and, and everybody that, that listens to the radio. Everybody becomes a nurturer when they hear that kind of news. And where do we go to nurture? Facebook. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so our Facebook page absolutely exploded after we talked about this. And, you know, you, some of you guys say some of the nicest things. I, I get these things, messages, you know, oh, we're lifting your family up in our prayers. Tell, just illustrate one. Prayers going up for the healing of your mother. Now, that's a beautiful thing. Comma. But then this happens. You ain't gonna believe what happened to my brother Oswald. Showed up, got the same diagnosis as your mama did. Next thing you know, his ears burn up, looked like a pair of biscuits on the side of his head. He was dead for Friday. Hope everything works out. Love you. Some of you people suck at nurturing. What the hell? I don't need to hear about the 15 people you used to hang out with that all died of cancer last year. That ain't making me feel better. Let me tell you what I want on Facebook. I want you to send me a message about your cousin Leroy. Half his head rotted off from some kind of weird cancer. They gave him a pill. He's back on the bowling league. That's what I want to That's hear. That's the one. That's the one. Send us all the That's story. how you nurture people. But that's what we do on Facebook. Facebook has become the international competition of out-sicking one another. Mm -hmm. And you can't do it. If you've ever nope. tried to out-sick somebody on Facebook, you are screwed. You I don't can't care do what it. you got. I don't care. True story. About five years ago, I had a mini stroke. He ain't got but one ball, neither. Don't let him lie. Look. Why you got to bring that up? <laughs> one ball. Why you got to bring that up? <laughs> one ball. That's all you got. Just own it, man. All right, fine. I had testicular cancer and they took the twins and separated them, all right? You ain't got nothing that I ain't heard, I promise you. I've no. heard all the jokes. What's Tell Broadway's favorite pen? Uniball. I've heard it. <laughs> you got nothing. Your stuff is weak. <laughs> So I had a mini stroke a few years ago, and I got on Facebook, and Facebook asked me what I'd been up to, and I said, well, I've been having a stroke. <laughs> Dragging my leg behind me when I walked for a couple of days. It... <laughs> so, again, the nurturer showed up. Oh, man, I sure am sorry to hear about you having that stroke, but you better be glad you ain't my cousin Elmer. <laughs> His head plumb blew off when he had a stroke. <laughs> You put on there, oh, I, I sprained my ankle. Some dude's going to show up. I lost a leg. You know? I got a receding hairline. I lost an eye in Vietnam jumping on a landmine. You can't beat these people on Facebook. My own father did this to me. Called my dad. I said, man, you're not going to believe this. The doctor told me I had a mini stroke. This is what my dad said to me. He said, that's bad, son. But I was in the, I was in the hospital about a month ago. Had an 18-inch long blood clot in my left lung. And while I was in there, I passed a kidney stone. <laughs> and I still got two balls. <laughs> Only Broadway man can still say that. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry about that. That was rude. Yes. Yes, it was. 